And guess, guess who's late? Not the shoes. Check out the compete brand. I keep it real, I don't talk smack. Let me get the next one. That's me, that's me! My chain's not big enough for that. Now you don't want to talk. Guys, the bullpen kind of functions as a team within the team, right? So game day, getting ready for first pitch, right? You guys all go out to the bullpen. Devin, I know you come out a little bit later as you're doing your routine in the training room. But when you guys get out to the pen and you guys are settling in for the game, and I, tell me, what what's the vibe? What's like the routine for you guys once you guys get out there? I mean, for me personally, it's just kind of like, you know, we're all just joking around, keeping it light instead of like being so serious and locked in from from the fourth inning on like i don't i don't really like to you know focus too much until like the seventh eighth inning and then like kind of turn it on then i would say it's pretty loose um especially early on in the game but you like we watch our pitchers you know our starter try to like ride him and see how he's doing but we definitely try to keep it loose because you don't want to be serious the whole game you'll be drained by the time you get in the game but when we're pitching, it's a little more serious, but when we're hitting, you know, loose, we talk about the most random things, some things we can't say, but, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I do have the best personality on the team. I got the most personality on the team. I'm on the freshman with you. Next episode. You see how long he throws for? <laughs> Are you done? How do you think the group has come together overall, right? Like, it's different personalities. You guys have different pitching styles. Um, how do you think the group overall has come together? I think it's come together really well, to be honest with you. Uh, we get along really well. Um, you know, we're just a group of friends out there hanging out until, until the phone rings. You ever like when they interview like the rappers with all the, the chains? Yours is going to sound like that. Yeah. It's a good group. Uh, everybody gets along well. Everybody believes in one another. There's no guy like we don't have confidence in when they go out there. So and even the guys that have been here and have left, whatever, you know, it's been a really good group. So it's exciting. And you two have formed a, a really good friendship, um, not just on the field here, but off the field. And you guys like to give each other a hard time. Let me get it, let me get it. So, Devin, when you got to know Pete coming up as a rookie last year. Still a rookie. <laughs> he is still a rookie, but let's go back to last year, right? His debut. His first couple months in the big leagues, you've been through that. Um, what did you think of what Pete did last year? And then making the opening day roster this year. Cole, minor league pitcher of the month. Go to pitch. It's a swing and a miss in his first big league strikeout. Yeah, well done. He's a very talented pitcher. He did a great job. Another strikeout for Strzelecki. That's a good changeup. You know, to come up and get like a 2-7 or something like that last year in his first first taste of the big leagues like I was very impressed by that kind of his his uh, mental side that you know he kind of stays stays the course you know through it all and Pete what did you think of Devin as you were getting to know Devin last year at, at first I mean I just respected his game I didn't really know him you know too too much obviously I've never been to the big league side or any of that stuff but you see it on social media you see it you hear from you know we've had guys that we both played with through the minors um, that would talk about him. So like from that, I just respected him and just, you know, you watch guys from afar at first when you get here, try to take stuff from their game that you could, you know, do for yourself or whatever. But then as we started to get to know one another, you know, I I could tell that we would, you know, get along really well. And, and it just so happened, like, I continued to grow. And then he was kind enough to let me stay with him at the end of the year. And, um, you know, and now we're, we hang out a lot and he's helped me a lot on the baseball field and just mentality wise, stuff wise, how to go about my routine and stuff like that. So it's been very helpful. We need, we need you to show the camera your hair. Pete, you got a mic or something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just want to show up this cut. Hey, the only, the only way people would watch this is if you were in it. Honestly, you're just supposed to show them your haircut that I did. Off the field and um, off the mound, Pete is the resident barber here for the team. So Devin, you, you're always like very creative with, you know, what you're doing with your hair. You've got a lot of different looks that you'll put out. Yeah. Have you ever let Pete do your hair? Absolutely not. I mean, he, did you see Wade's haircut? <laughs> That's ridiculous because 
Um, McCutcheon, and he's very particular with his hair. I didn't fade him, but I definitely lined him up and everything. But the Wade, that's what he asked for. I give what they ask for. I don't give, you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't count. That's like, you can't put that on me. Like I've done some really good haircuts and that's why people keep coming back. Show their hair. <laughs> Cuts by Pete. Pete's points and more is what we call it. Okay, come here. My wife approves of this haircut, so. And so does but his teammates. Peter, so I give a lot of credit to Quentin Berry. He started the process, but Strez came in and and finished and, it and, and finished it off like yeah. the eighth inning, ninth inning guy that is. Yeah, wow. they did a fantastic job, and I really like my haircut. And I think it's it brings more of that just redneck look out, like it like fits <laughs> me. So it looks like you should be performing in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten the Morgan Wallen. Morgan haircut, Wallen. The Morgan Wallen cut. Okay, who has better shoe game? Me. He every, every shoe he's bought, I already had. Yeah, that's not a, that's not fair. <laughs> That's not true. I will say Devin got a head start, though. He has more years in the big leagues. Yeah. But he's like a sneaker head, though. I'm like sneaker head slash stylist. Did you see what he was wearing yesterday? He looked good, didn't he? You didn't see his fit? Did you dress him? I picked out everything he wore yesterday. Is Devin your stylist now, too? Sometimes he is, yeah, but not, not yesterday. Yesterday, that was me. He just changed the socks, that was it. Details matter. I told him to buy those shoes. shoes I picked out the pants for him and also the shirt he was wearing. So Devin, you would say you're also the better dressed yeah. guy. Yeah, I, I would have to say so. Do you feel like you're the best dressed on the team? I think I'm like top two. Who's your and, competition? And Willie. Willie. Probably the best dressed. Freddie's up there too. I think, you know, it depends on the day, you know. I might just throw on some sweatpants. He might beat me one day. Has Pete ever beat you? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. I've had one day at least. <laughs> one, one day. That's the more day. One day. That's not fair, though. Like, when I made my debut, I was wearing Bryce Terrain collared shirt because I didn't even have a collared shirt. So, like, there's baby steps. You know, I got to take steps. <laughs> That's the exact reason, yep. It was a pleasure. <laughs>